Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we will be solving code forces round 909 tip 3 problem B 250,000 tons of TNT. Okay, so in this question we have B Hermes, but as I, I think it's just reference to Mr. Beast. Beast. Okay, uh, but okay, yeah, coming back to the question, pause the video, read the question, then we will proceed. Cool. So the question says that we have to prepare 250,000 tons of that's unnecessary information we don't need it so what it says is there are n boxes and we have few trucks and in each trucks we will have k boxes okay and there is one character alex who will be putting these boxes or like we will be arranging these boxes now he likes injustice so let's say there were so many boxes right so each trucks will have k box so for each truck will have k box okay for each truck will have k box now for k box and we know that each box has weight a of i or the ith box has weight a of i it is given in the question so the first box or the first truck will contain first k boxes then the second truck will contain the next k boxes and the third truck will contain next k boxes and so on so we know that there will be weight associated with each truck and that will be this total number of the weight of the total boxes individual boxes so sum of the weight of all the boxes that is given in the question so we'll have sum of individual objects or individual boxes and if we'll place k of them so the sum of the truck will be nothing but the sum of those k boxes now alex wants the difference to be as big as possible and the difference as in so like let's say we we have three trucks and here it was seven here it was four and here it was 14 this is the total weight right of the k boxes so the difference here one difference is this one like seven minus four or if we we'll look at the absolute difference only it is three another difference is 7 minus 14 that is 7 and we can also take this 4 and 14 and here we will have 10 so we know that the maximum difference possible is this 10 right so that's what alex wants to maximize this difference now in the question in the question we are just given n n boxes n boxes and their their weight that is a1 a2 till a of n now in the question k is not specified k is not specified so now let's say let's say what times what we can say that k can either be 1 k can either be 2 similarly 3 4 till n right so what does that mean that means that there will be one box in each truck one box in each truck so these are the trucks and there will be one box exactly so similarly there can be two boxes in each truck but we have one condition that the box in each truck we have exactly k boxes right that means this n should be divisible by n should be divisible by k so if we are selecting two boxes uh, two to be uh, two boxes to be in each truck that means n divided by 2 should be or n modulo 2 should be equal to 0 Similarly, if you want three boxes in each truck, then n modulo 3 should be equal to 0. Why? Because we know that this will kind of put all three boxes in each truck. Right. So now what we can do over here is see, we can put k1 or we can put k2 or we can put k3 till how much? N. Right or if you'll see if you'll see if you want the difference to be maximum right at least we'll have to split it into two split it into two right into two trucks if you want to split it into two trucks that means the absolute value or the anyways the difference will be zero the difference will be zero if you put everything in one truck and also why we will not go to this k equals to n because we know that this k or n modulo k should be equal equal to zero and we will check for those k value only and we know that this 
after like k by 2 or n by 2 is the maximum possible value which can divide this n not equal to n right so k is the maximum possible value which will divide this n and that will be exactly two times right so uh, that means we will have at least two trucks and then also we have some answer possible else we can also always return answer as r0 if it is not possible or there is only one box that means there is only one truck so what did we realize that k can have value 1 till n by 2 okay now one more thing to note down so if we'll select this one and this is the very important part most of you guys would feel like that this is a nested loop but yes it's it's nested but its time complexity is not n into k i'll explain so what i am saying is what we can do we can select k from 1 till 1 till n by 2 right so that's our one approach now so now see so we have n boxes right so a1 a2 a3 till a of n and let's say we are uh, considering three boxes so we'll make this group of three boxes then again then again so we'll be and considering here that three is able to divide n so the first of all the first consideration or the first constraint we should put is this n should be divisible by k so this n should be divisible by k that is first constraint now now if it is divisible uh, sorry it should be equal to zero yeah. so if it is divisible then what then what we'll do we'll calculate this so let's say there were five groups five groups or five trucks so we'll calculate the sum of this first truck or the weight of all the boxes on the first truck similarly for the second truck and third truck and the fourth truck and the fifth truck and we'll check what is the maximum value or the maximum sum of out of all this and what is the minimum right and the difference will the, the difference between a maximum and minimum will be the best possible answer will be the best possible answer for k whatever k we are selecting over here so like right now we selected k is equals to 3 and we have you know five trucks so for k equals to 3 what we can do we can calculate this mx value mx value will be nothing but the maximum possible sum of any truck of any truck and similarly mn is nothing but the minimum possible sum of any truck and their difference will be the difference will be nothing but the maximum possible answer for k is equals to 3 so what for that what we can do is we can simply run a loop for int i equals to let's say i is equals to 1 okay i less than equal to n see carefully what i'm trying to do is and i plus plus and initially we will have some variable cur initialize to 0 and what we can do we can simply add cur plus is equals to array of i and and if we selected this k boxes if we select this k boxes or the first k boxes that means for the next for the next truck the initial weight should be equal to zero right so if if this i k boxes selecting means that means for the first time k will become uh, sorry i will become k that means we have selected k box next it will become 2k right then 3k that means it will become divisible by k so the for first time it will become or like whenever it will become divisible by k that means in the next iteration we will have to start from the zero weight so what we can simply write if i modulo k equal equal to zero that means we have picked up k boxes and we can simply do our calculation over here that mx should be maximized so we can write mx is equals to nothing but maximum or whatever the current value we have similarly the minimum boxes or the minimum weight of k boxes will be mn here it is mn it will be nothing but minimum of mn and cur okay and for the next boxes or the next truck this cur should be equal to zero okay and once this loop end once this loop end what we'll have to do we can have one hour answer initialized to zero and that answer can be maximized over here after this loop this loop was nothing but selecting that if we select k boxes to be put into truck then what can be the maximum possible answer or best answer and when simply we can maximize this answer is equals to maximum of what answer or this mx minus mn okay now if we'll see if we'll see over here what we are doing is what we are doing is we are running a loop for k is equals to i till n by 2 
and again inside that we are running a loop for k is equals to 1 till n so it feels like it feels like that we will be running loop how many times n square times but no that's totally wrong now why that's totally wrong if we'll see carefully if we'll see carefully at max at max how many how many factors can be there at max at max there can be root of n factors right at max there can be root of n factors so at worst scenario at worst scenario how many times how many times we can run this entire loop at max and root n times though i am saying that it will be at root n but as the value of n will grow you will see the number of factors will start decreasing drastically will start decreasing drastically okay so that's why that's why what we have done we we are kind of no splitting every value into k boxes or uh, trucks with exactly k boxes and we know that the k can range from 1 till k n by 2 and all the factors all the factors we know that there won't be much factors like for example let's say even if let's say if n is let's say 140 so how many factors are there it will be 1 2 3 uh, 3 can divide no sorry 3 won't be able to divide okay now can 4 divide i think yes 4 can divide into how many times for 35 times yes 4 can 6 divide 6 uh, if we'll say 2 no 6 can't divide can 7 divide yes 7 can divide can 8 divide can 8 divide i don't think 8 can't divide 9 no 10 yes and then 11 no 12 so you will find that very few numbers at max at max 20 30 numbers not even that at max at max 10 15 numbers or not exactly i think 10 only 10 or 12 numbers will be there so it's it's very less it's very less so overall it will be nothing but you can assume safely assume that even if n is 10 to the power 5 we will calculate its factor or to be precise let's do one thing calculate factors of 10 to the power 5 if we'll see this i mean there is one formula but it's better uh let's say uh, how many total factors total factors of 10 to the power 5 okay what are the factors of 10 to the power 5 so the even factors i mean okay we are not getting any result over here i think yeah uh, what is this okay so hmm. so yeah here if you'll see how many factors we have we have nothing but uh, i think you got the idea right i mean it, it's hardly 10 or 20 so overall what you will see that even though it feels like it's a nested loop but it will be nothing but let's say to be on the safe side very at max at max it will be nothing but 100 n by 2 that will be something like 50 n and if you'll see the question and if you'll see the question n is nothing but something like a uh, summation is 1.5 into 10 to the power 5 even if you multiply it by 50 will still be in the limit of 10 to the power 7 right so that's why even though it feels like it's a o of n square solution but it's not and that's why it's getting accepted now let's come to the solution we have taken the input as explained in the question we'll have one final answer or answer then we can put the value of k from 1 till n by 2 and if that divides n we'll start iterating or start trying to find out that local possible answer for that particular k mx and mn initialized as needed and current value is 0 we took the, the sum and if we collect k elements then we updated our values and similarly we have found that mx and mn that is the maximum possible values for k boxes and similarly minimum and we updated our answer and finally printed our answer okay i hope this question would be clear but if you guys have any doubt let me know in the comment section okay thank you guys see you in the next video